What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to review set number 21319. Retails for $60 and it's Lego Friends with 1,070 pieces. Let's take a look at the minifigures. So first we have Rachel Green. And um, to be honest, I don't know these guys names but it's Rachel Green and I'm reading off the of Lego ideas so if this is wrong then yeah if they don't if they have like a nickname or anything because I do not watch friends but so she has this um sort of hair piece that I don't know it's not exclusive but it's not common that's for sure she has this plate which is actually a shield and um she has this and i don't know if that's her actual dress once again i don't watch friends so that's a disclaimer so that's her minifigure and i don't think er, no she has a double-sided face angry so this minifigure is the coffee shop guy and if there is a name for this guy it's not in the book so if there is something or whatever his name is drop it down in the comments but if you look right here I believe it is the Luke face I believe I don't know if it is but I think it is you got I believe Draco Malfoy's hair and I think that's his name but in white I don't know if that's in any other sets he got a broom a common piece and I don't know if his torso is any other sets but that's the coffee shop guy. Next we have this character. If you look in the book of the instructions, it tells the names. That's what I'm reading off of. And he is Ross Geller. I don't know how to pronounce that. Once again, I don't watch Friends. And I forgot to show the coffee guy's double-sided face, but it's an angry face which I believe that's exclusive he got this face and I kind of like this face better than this one but I believe it's movie accurate don't know if he comes in any other sets then he got his suit and once again don't think he comes in other any other sets and all the um legs are don't have prints on them besides the one girl, I just, the first one, and I believe the second, or one that I haven't showed yet, but this is the guy. Double side face. On to the next minifigure, I guess. Man, for 60 bucks, this has a lot of figures. Total of seven figures, which is a lot for 60 bucks, especially since they're exclusive prints. Next, you got Joey, I can't even pronounce his last name. Um, yeah, if anyone in, that knows friends in the comments, you can, I guess, say it. You got this pizza thing, which I believe is in the 2021 pizza shop, so it's definitely not exclusive. Pizza print, I don't know. It's not exclusive. This thing, this backpack thing, is definitely not exclusive that's common you got his face and i don't he might be in another set but yeah legs common and i don't know if this torso is in any other set next up we have chandler Bl bing or bling i don't know i don't watch friends that's a disclaimer and i've already said that so you actually got this computer. It's not a book, it's a computer. And I can't open that up right now, but he got this hair piece and I don't think that's exclusive, but is there a double side face? Yes, there is. With an angry look. 
and then you got the torso and I don't want to spend 20 minutes looking at the minifigures so on to the next one. Next up we have Mionti Geller, Miona Geller. Once again I don't know but you got this hair piece which I believe is definitely not exclusive I know that. The two cents that I know about the set but you got her hair piece common, this thing common, this cup definitely common, and you got her double side face is this torso print. Once again, don't know if it's exclusive. All right, finally, after six minutes, we got Phoebe Buffet. I don't know, I'm probably butchering that name, but. You got her guitar, definitely not exclusive. I've seen it in a CMF series. Don't know which character. Actually, he might be, or that might be in series. Like, the one with the Sriracha guy or something. The guy with the, once again, don't know. Um, You got this torso print. It's kind of blocking by the guitar. See? Got the torso print. Back print. Double side face. That's it. On to the build. Alright, if... Let me just say something. If you want... Let's just say your birthday's coming up and you have $60 and you want to spend it on Legos. And you don't know what set to get, my recommendation is to get the set. Now, you may say, why is that? It has 1,000 pieces in it. 1,000 pieces in a $60 set. Price by piece, that's way, that's, that's like 8 cents a piece. You can't go wrong with 8 cents a piece. Especially since there's printed pieces and everything in here so this is a really good set yeah it has like some stickers but it doesn't have 80 stickers it has only it has five that's not a lot and so where do we start i don't know um let's just start off with the back i mean might have put this on wrong. I might have. I'll look at this. So after looking through, I found out that, yep, this is in the right position. So if you look, this is a sticker. This is one of the only stickers in the set. And you got, forgot the character's name with lipstick. That's probably a reference to the show. Once again, don't watch the show, but you don't have to watch the show to get this set. You don't have to. If it's $60 and it's like this, I don't know if LEGO thought it wasn't going to sell well or if it was going to sell well, and that's why they sell, sold it for 60 bucks. But honestly, they could have got away with 80 80 and people would still get it. It's not even overpriced. So you got this piece and it's a sticker with him having lipstick on trash and you can have this piece flip over and you can put it on probably destroying the set inside they showed in that, that you could just put it Hold on. There we go. So, <coughs> sorry guys. Probably would have edited that out, but I was talking, so probably not. Sorry, but I had to sneeze. And anyway, we got the central perk sign. And you can flip it over to the side, and it's actually printed on a window. We don't get printed windows that often. Only if it's like a Star Wars windshield or the cockpit shield things that are printed. So this is a really good piece. Special Central 
perk, which is obviously exclusive in this. So that's a really good piece. And if we look over here, we got really nothing on this side, but yeah, it kind. This side is just ugly. Don't look at this side. This side's just ugly. It looks terrible. Look at the mix of colors. That's just terrible. Oh, don't don't even look at this side. This side's even worse. Um, let me say something. If you are someone that is modeling, don't for the set. Don't not do not. I should say show this side or this side. They're both ugly. So, if we go on this side, you've got some camera or lights for the TV show because this is obviously a set. And I think that's what they're trying to apply because, I mean, if you had none of those, kids could think that this isn't a set, but it is a set. And my set's falling apart. I'll fix it. Alright, I fixed that. And let me just say something. This set... It's the most weirdest set I have ever seen, how you put it together. So this piece right here is a rug piece, and actually it's connected by, um, like a, like how this is, but there's actually connection to it, and it, you can't move it. You cannot move it, which is surprising. This, it's, you probably can't see it because the couch is here, but you can kind of see it right there, but... It's right there. You can, I can see it. You probably can't see it, but if we take a look here at this, this is also another place where it has that. So if you go to the coffee shop slash bar, you have of the cash register, the frappuccino maker. Once again, don't know not a huge coffee person and I don't go to Starbucks that much even though I just went there yesterday but I think that's a frappuccino maker and you got the coffee guy right there you got the door that was shown earlier can open up you're not supposed to open it up it's just a detail because it leads to nowhere but then you got the back area with this Brooklyn sign, or er, San Francisco Bridge, maybe? I don't know. That's embarrassing, but it's, I think, the San Francisco Bridge. But you actually got, both of these things are printed, by the way. They're not stickers. So you got the service, which I don't know if that's, like, an actual sign or an edit in the mo or in the show. So, comment down below if it is. Got the sticker right here. And then you got the couch right here. And what's cool about the couch is you can take it out. I'm probably not going to be able to put it back in. But you can look at the couch and... So, for example, if you just want that open, it looks ugly when it's open. I suggest not doing that, but if you wanted to, I guess. I don't know what's the point of this, but you literally just got this. Once again, don't know the point of it, but it actually is very, very hard to put it back in. But I probably am going to get it first try. Yep, I did. Actually, it is easy. That was just because I messed up with the piece last time. Then you got this area with her. This piano doesn't go here. Once again, they have extra areas. So, like, you can switch this microphone out for this if you wanted to. Have her playing the piano. And I think she does that in the show. And I don't know if she does whether or not, but... Yeah, I guess she's there, and don't really care that much, and I don't know. She's supposed to be, I believe, singing for, like, you know how some modern coffee shops, well, 90s coffee shops, because this was back in the 90s, I think the show was in the 90s. 
if it was, it was the late 90s, early 2000s. Definitely in the early 2000s if it was out. So, let's look at the instructions, and then I will tell you guys if, whether or not you should buy it. Should you buy the set or should you not buy the set? You should buy the set. And even if you're not a Lego Friends fan, not the girl Friends, like an actual Friends fan, if you are not a Friends fan like what I am, I still recommend getting it. Because even though you might not be a fan of Friends, it's still only $60. That is a steal. And plus, this is really accurate. Once again, when I showed the instructions, when I saw it, I saw exactly this area. And they did a good job recreating that area in that picture. That was completely accurate. And once again, I believe they're making another friend set in 2021 and this set I believe is retiring at the end of the year because it was made in 2019 and that was two years ago and yeah still don't know why they retired the diner but in conclusion should you buy this yes you should should you buy it for a friend that likes friends yes should you buy it for your friend that hates friends but loves lego no, no. I don't recommend getting it for someone that hates Friends. I recommend getting it for someone that doesn't watch Friends. And that's what I think you should get it for. So overall, I rate this set an A+. You can't go wrong with a thousand pieces in a $60 set with custom er, a lot of printed pieces in the set. You just can't go wrong.